Hello, my name is Sunita Kadian. Welcome to this video on IELTS listening test tips. So in the IELTS listening test, both the academic and general training students get the same test. The test lasts for 30 minutes. If you are planning to take the pen and paper based test, then you get additional 10 minutes to transfer your answers onto the answer sheet. So while listening to the recordings, you can scribble your answers or write in short forms on the question booklet. And later on, you can transfer them onto the answer sheet. But if you're planning to take the computer delivered test, then you get just two minutes to review your answers. This test has four parts and there are 40 questions. Each question carries one mark. There is no negative marking. So what do these four parts include? What kind of questions you get? Let's understand the kind of recordings you get in each part. In part one, you listen to a conversation between two people set in any day-to-day -day situation. So one of them may inquire about uh, an admission to a college or uh, reservation in a hotel. The names may be exchanged. Telephone numbers may be exchanged. So it's all in social context. In part two, you listen to a monologue. Only one person speaks and it is related to social needs. This is also set in social context. Part three and more are more difficult. In part three, you listen to a conversation between up to four speakers. So that means there may be two, three or four speakers. So you should be able to follow who is saying what. And the conversation is related to educational or training contents. It's also academic. In part four, you listen to a monologue. Again, just one person speaks and this monologue is related to educational or training contents. This is also academic. Let me share some tips that will help you to get a higher band score in the IELTS listening test. The first one, of course, is not to let your mind wander when you listen to different recordings. It's a human tendency to start thinking about something else when you are listening to a recording. So every time you feel your mind is going away in a different direction, because you might miss out the answers. So what should you do? Take a deep breath in and your mind will come back. And this has really worked for many students. That's what they've shared with me. The second tip is that you should understand the questions. What is asked in the question? So become familiar with the question types. So let's understand what kind of questions you get in the IELTS listening test. So what do the different questions include? What kind of questions you get in the IELTS listening test? So there are 10 types of questions that you can expect. A sentence completion questions, where there may be one, two, or three blanks. So listen to the instructions carefully. Read the instructions carefully in, in the question, whether you have to write two words, three words, a number, or no more than one word. Then form completion questions, where a form may be there, form to enter a college or something of like that. So you need to understand what is required, what you have to fill in, or whether you have to fill in some year, then dates, name, name of a place, or what it is that is needed. Summary completion questions, short answer questions, table completion questions, flow chart completion questions, notes or list completion questions, multiple choice questions. So multiple choice questions are the most difficult for many students because the multiple choice questions have a question stem and then there are options given to you. So if you do not understand the question stem you'll, and you get lost in the options given to you, you'll find it difficult to answer this question accurately. Then the plan, map or diagram labeling questions are there. So you have to understand how to follow the directions that you hear. 
And of course, matching questions. You have to match different things given in the list. So what should you do when you get these different types of questions? Focus on the answer. There may be a lot of irrelevant information that you may hear. So you should be able to uh, differentiate between the relevant and the irrelevant information. So sometimes the answer uh, may come very soon, or at times you may hear a lot of irrelevant. Irrelevant in the sense it's not connected to the question. And then after a gap, you may hear the answer. So you should just focus on the answer. So read the instructions carefully what it is that you have to do while answering the questions, whether you have to answer it in one word, two words, or no more than three words, or you have to put the letter in the answer, that is A, B, C, et cetera, or you have to put the word there. And whichever you may follow while answering, the uppercase or the lowercase, be consistent. If you follow the lowercase, then wherever a capital is needed, you put the capital letter there. Otherwise, you can just put all your answers in the uppercase. That's accepted in the IELTS exam. And of course, pay attention to spelling. Wrong spelling means zero mark over there. You don't get any mark for that answer. It's considered wrong. Now, what you should do is that you must listen to different podcasts, English news. Why? Because you hear different accents different accents. So the native speakers may be from England, from America, Australia, any place. You should be able to understand the accent of the native speakers of English. Become familiar with the sounds of English. Understand the difference between the sounds of English and the sounds of your native language. How the sounds are different in English. And especially the S at the end. Many students miss out on the S at the end or they're not able to understand whether there's an E at the end of the word or not. So be careful. So what should you do to practice? Take practice tests to as many as you can, but then just that will not help you. You should analyze your mistakes. If you go wrong with any answer, then understand why you got a wrong answer. What is it that you missed while listening to that recording? So analyze your mistakes, take the practice test again, and of course, prepare for the common traps. So there are some common traps that you should be ready for if you're planning to take the IELTS exam. So in the listening test, when you hear the recording where there may be two, three or more speakers, you might hear one of them negating what the other person has said or what he or she himself has said earlier. I think we should go for the picnic tomorrow. Oh yes, that's a good idea. The second one says, oh, but I think that uh, probably the day after might be better. So the moment now the first one says the day after might be better. So tomorrow cannot be the answer. So listen to the conversation carefully, follow it carefully. So there may be such traps and even in the maps that uh, you go up all the way, but do not turn on the right, take the left. So right and left both may be there, which is the direction you have to take. So understand the questions carefully. Don't let your mind wander and answer the questions correctly practice and analyze your answers. If you feel uh, you're making too many mistakes and are unable to improve your score, take help then. And you can always visit a Uno learning site or we have tests and then there are mock tests, a comprehensive course. So come to Uno learning site and get personalized live IELTS classes at affordable prices. Thank you. All the best for your preparation.